Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have, as you can see behind me, we have another truck video. So this is exciting. Um, what we're gonna be doing tonight is we're gonna be installing that gooseneck hitch, finally. All of our trailers right now are currently gooseneck and we don't have a gooseneck. So here in these boxes, we've got the, here we can show you right here. We've got the draw tight hide a goose, 30,000 pound gooseneck. So we're gonna need to open this up and see what's inside because this is actually the third one that I've ordered from Amazon. Uh, the first one showed up, but was missing parts. The second one I got half of, uh, just this box actually. And then now this is the third one. We've got two boxes, which is good. We gotta make sure we have all the parts in here. Wow, check that out. Two different pieces, that's just what we needed. All right, so we're gonna be in business here. So these are the two pieces that go on the side of the frame. These are gonna go in front of the gooseneck head. This is gonna go in the back. So we'll move these over here. All right, guys, so in that box, we've got some nuts and bolts, we've got some springs, the ball itself, two and five sixteenths, standard, and our latch cover. So let's open up this box and see if they gave us any instructions not come with the first kit that I ordered so I definitely was missing some parts the u-bolts that also didn't come with the first kit and what do we got here some instructions all right gooseneck mounting kit f-250 that's us so that's basically what we're gonna do yeah diagram that's a good one right there all right so Let's uh, fast forward to step one. All right, guys. So kind of funny story, actually. Last time I installed the gooseneck uh, on video, it was actually at night too, which is kind of interesting. But anyways, so we're under the truck now. Um, we're about to install these two cross pieces. They're going to go uh, right up there and go across and then one in the front and go across. And that's what the center section actually bolts into. So I'm going to try to get those up in there and then uh, move on to the next step. So what you guys can see here, this truck already has like an indent of like where the gooseneck should go. Cause these trucks come stock with goosenecks sometimes and that's why they put these in the bed. So as you can see, it has a, a dimpled hole here, which is supposed to be like their idea of like where center is. Um, but per the instructions, it wants 46 and 3 16 in the back of the bed. So yeah, so this is our new dimple. Um, with the measurement for the instructions. Um, so basically you just go 46 and 3 16 from the back and then you go center in here, which the original dimple is center. So I just went right behind it at the correct measurement. So the instructions call for a three and a half inch hole saw. I have a three and five eighths hole saw. Um, that's all my supplier had in stock, um, which is just gonna be just a little bit bigger, about an eighth inch on each side. So it's really not a big deal. And it gives me a little extra wiggle room to adjust the hitch perfectly in the center. So now we're gonna go ahead and drill a big hole in the bed of my truck. Make sure we get the right mark, and there it is. And we're gonna go slow speed. There's the ball, all installed. My phone is being a big piece of junk and not letting me record stuff. So, we got side bracket all installed. There's our other bracket installed. So, basically it's really easy. You put those two cross members on the frame and then you slide your side brackets on, do your two U-bolts and then bolt it all together and then put your center section up in there. It was really, 
really tough to do by yourself, honestly. Um, everything's really heavy and I had to lay on my back since I don't have like a lift or anything like that. So I was laying on my back and just trying to lift this stuff in the air, hold it in the air. And it was a big pain in the butt, but the whole reason for installing this hitch is, as you guys know, we got the white trailer over there that we've had and we're actually selling that trailer, but we picked up another trailer, which you can hardly see. Guys, right, so it's the next day after work and uh, I just want to go ahead and show you guys the the hitch install so here's the one side here's your ball release lever that's all good there come around the back We've got our ball in the bed and then on this side of course we've got our other hitch bracket so today we got the truck backed up over here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hook up to the big trailer for the very first time now this trailer hasn't moved since we moved in in March. So it's been it's been like nine months since this trailer has even moved. I know it's got one flat tire. So I'm gonna back it over to the garage and uh, fill it up. And I think we're gonna take it down the road, maybe go pressure wash it, get it cleaned up because we are selling this trailer. So it's a little too big for us. We're gonna get us a nice little bumper pull. And so it's a lot easier for my wife to drive around but uh, let me set you guys up and let's go ahead and get hooked up to this thing. All right, guys, we are hooked up to the trailer for the first time in nine months and the first time ever with this truck. So let's go ahead and get it moved over to the driveway and get that back tire filled up with air and see if we can take it down the road. No more trailer. I haven't seen this view in nine months. <laughs> Truck looks good hooked up to it too. It's too bad we're selling it. Would you guys believe me if I told you I pulled that whole thing out in two wheel drive? And this stuff is not hard packed. Must have been enough weight over the rear tires, but we got it out. So let's, uh, Check out this rear tire situation here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd say it's been sitting for a little bit. All right guys, so if you guys can hear that, we're getting the compressor filled up. I put a little air in it already. And uh, waiting on that compressor to fill. Kind of a cool feeling pulling this thing out of the weeds and getting it back on the road. I'm really curious to see how the F-250 is going to pull with it. So I've only pulled this thing ever with my Dodge Dually that I used to have. And um, this will definitely be a pretty big job for the Ford. Look at that sunset, guys. 
that's my driveway. All right, we're gonna get ready to head out. I'm gonna put the tow mode on, put the exhaust brake on, and uh, have a little fun with this long, windy driveway. It's a big girl. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to pull onto the road, and we're gonna see how the truck likes to pull this big, heavy trailer. I got for you on this video so if you like the video give it a like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one thanks